heard, I've talked to a lot of people, they're very concerned. They've got heart issues or they're worried about the clogging of the arteries and arterial flow. And as we age, of course, heart, heart disease is a real possibility for us. So Mark, can you kind of help us talk about a product that's yet to be released, but I believe it's on the edge here of being released in Canada and then ultimately the United States. But will you kind of give us some tips there, Mark? I'd be happy to, and that's quite correct. We now have natural product number approval from Health Canada for B circulation aid. And I have addressed this briefly in weeks gone by. Uh, In uh, Hong Kong, the company is now just preparing the Canadian labels for this product, so we will have it shortly. Just waiting on the lab test to come in, so of course we'll give that full review as soon as it arrives to make sure that it is manufactured to its stated specifications. But this is a product that's ideal for cardiovascular disease, and it's not just North America. And remember, in this modern world, North American lifestyles have been exported overseas to just about every country on the planet right now. I used to hear uh, such phrases as the French paradox, how you know uh, people in France could eat uh, meals that were very fatty in their content and yet never seemed to, to gain weight, never seemed to suffer from cardiac disease. Well, the French paradox is going away, and uh, you know such uh, other you know paradoxes around the world are also disappearing as McDonald's spreads and and you know fast foods make their way in, and you know a, a more uh, sedentary lifestyle sets in for virtually everybody. You know, uh, we all tend to uh, eat more calories than we burn off, and therefore cardiovascular disease is progressing around the world. What do we do to fight it? I mean, you know, bypass surgery is not the answer to everything, it's best to attend to prevention if we can. Well, in the case of B Circulation Aid, we have such a product that works for this purpose. Its purpose primarily is to look after the body's blood vessels. And the blood vessels are very much like the roots of a tree. They, they deliver important nutrients around the body. You want to make sure that they're elastic. They're, they're able to, to stretch and bend and turn want to make sure that they're unclogged uh, because otherwise they cannot serve as a function for removing the toxins from our body and uh, you know they travel you know uh, throughout the the body primarily through the blood vessels a little bit through the lymph system but the blood vessels are very important to this and we want to make sure that we are able to continue to uh, remove toxins from our body blood vessels are one of the primary ways that this happens so along comes B circulation aids Uh, What we're dealing with here primarily from the perspective of this product is the phenomenon called hyperlipidemia. Hyper means overly or too much of. Lipids are fats, of course, and emia just means circulating in your blood system. So hyperlipidemia simply means too much fat circulating in your blood system. When that happens, uh, the the various categories of of fats, such as cholesterol and triglycerides, and and I should say as well, cholesterol can be divided into two categories. There's the good high-density lipoprotein cholesterol and and the bad, as it's named, uh, low-density lipoprotein. These all circulate, and we want to make sure we have the correct proportion of each in our system. But under the influence of the bad cholesterol, blood lipids become elevated and these tend to bind along with other factors produced by the arteries themselves to the inner lining of the blood vessels. Uh, These things pile up on one another. They form foci that uh, eventually start to narrow the blood vessels. And that's when a person is at risk of having either a heart attack or a stroke. So in order to protect ourselves against that, the body needs a good balance of fatty acids. And uh, amongst those are the omega-3s, the omega-6s that we hear so much about. In order to keep hyperlipidemia to a minimum, we want to make sure that the ratio of omega-3 fatty acids in our diet to the omega-6 fatty acids in our diet is about 4 to 1. Very important to maintain that. So what does this product have to offer that assists with balancing fatty acids in our bloodstream? And we have perilla frutescens for that purpose. It is a very rich source of omega-3s, which helps balance the ratio. And an interesting phenomenon that comes up before I get into the other uh, ingredients is all along we've been talking about traditional Chinese medicine and I've been struggling through the weeks to present to people how TCM principles line up in parallel with Western science and Western medicine. 
But here we have an example. Uh, there are old Chinese textbooks that, of course, didn't really name anything biochemically. That was not their understanding. They looked at everything from a, a body energetic standpoint. But they, they said that the stagnation of qi and blood stasis, meaning the, the slowdown of movement and the prevention of the free flow of blood, leads to elevated blood lipids. And this is what the principles of Chinese medicine referred to the stagnation of phlegm. They didn't really have any other way to describe it, so this is what it became known as. And, and so they sought to prepare formulations that would promote blood circulation by the removal of blood stasis. I mean, they, they understood those principles and in Western medicine, what we're understanding as a parallel to this is that they are seeking to reduce hyperlipidemia. I mean, here they're talking about phlegm being the equivalent of blood fats. And I think most people can understand the analogy. They recognize that by removing these barricades that we construct for ourselves in our blood system, the blood is then permitted to flow freely. So the purpose of the B Circulation Aid product is to reduce the viscosity of the blood and clear the blood vessels also to restore their suppleness. You know, in doing so, we reduce the blood lipids, we promote a healthy balance of fatty acids. This then promotes circulation to remove blood stasis, according to the TCM principles, and this keeps our blood vessels unblocked. So we have other ingredients that contribute to this. The, my favorite amongst them is the ginkgo biloba. And ginkgo biloba works primarily to eliminate free radicals from within blood vessels. And of course, that serves a function in anti-aging. It also uh, contributes to the suppleness and the elasticity of blood vessels. Interesting story uh, about ginkgo biloba in that, uh, of course, used historically. And uh, ginkgo trees grow in many places around the world, not just Asia. And the ginkgo tree itself is really quite remarkable. I mean, one looks to olive trees as being the, the primarily uh, aged trees in the world. Many olive groves have trees in them that are five and 600 years old. There are species of pine trees that grow in the mountains where you see a little shrub just <laughs> gradually and barely clinging to the side of a mountain. And uh, when uh, scientists look more closely at that specific plant, they'll say, this tree is, is 800 years old, even though it's only two feet tall. Well, many ginkgo trees live to ages beyond 1,000 years. They are very durable. So they've got to know something about circulation. Uh, the, the history, of course, is that uh, TCM principles did not recognize biochemistry. They, they only sought to find products that worked. And so they experimented with various extracts, you know, using water as a solvent, using vinegar as a solvent, using ethanol as a solvent, and gradually they found out what works. The parallel in Western medicine comes from Germany. Uh, there, there is a phytopharmaceutical company that is not so well known in the West or North America, but one of its subsidiaries is. The company in Germany is the Dr. Wilmar Schwabe Company, and that is the parent company of Nature's Way. Most people have seen Nature's Way products around, but the Schwabe Company is a science-based company, and one of their key extracts is known as EGB761. It's very famous. It is very well studied in the world of botanical research. And it is a specific extract that is found to contain a ratio of two specific categories of molecules from the ginkgo leaf in a ratio of 24 to 6, or 4 to 1 at its reduced levels. And the molecules are flavone glycosides and terpene lactones. You don't specifically need to know what each one of those does, apart from the fact that they contribute to the improvement of arterial health. But what has been found through the extraction procedures used in the product prepared by Infinitus is that they do contain the flavone glycosides and the terpene lactones in the same ratio that the Schwabe Corporation has been found through their Western research to be most effective for this. So when people ask if our ginkgo is standardized, the true answer is no, not intentionally. They are not specifically creating a blend that contains these two types of molecules in that ratio. 
but it does happen to turn out that by the method of manufacture, that's what they are achieving anyway. So we are certainly on par with the EGB 761 found in so many products that include the Schwabe ingredient. So here we have the perfect ratio of molecules found in ginkgo. We have the cholesterol-lowering aspects of perilla oil, and the other ingredients, of course, support those functions. So here we're getting very good quality alpha-linolenic acid from perilla. We're getting the right molecules from ginkgo, and the conclusions that modern science has drawn about these products and that we can state uh, without hesitation to anybody, is that the B circulation aid certainly supports healthy peripheral circulation and it does support cognition because so much of you know, brain circulatory function is key to proper mental function, we can certainly make those claims. So we do have a product uh, for anybody that's concerned about their cardiovascular health. If they're getting a little bit older and they're finding that their memory is starting to, to fade a little bit, it's not as strong as it used to be, this is certainly the product for you. It's vegetarian. It's exactly what we need it to be, formulated by TCM practitioners, but certainly capable of meeting Western pharmaceutical standards. So all in all, uh, a great product that will be available here in Canada in just a couple of weeks. 